Hi, my name is Dr. Megan Pollack, and I am here at the uh, Summit for Engineering Equity. And I am really thrilled to be surrounded by so many people who care about creating equitable and inclusive environments so that more people can reach their fullest potential within engineering and engineering pathways. Hi, I'm Jackie El Sayed um, from the American Society of Engineering Education. I've had a really great time here at the conference. I gave a talk myself about the future of uh, engineering education and faculty role in uh, creating a better world, and I really enjoyed it. I am the uh, Chief Executive Officer for SHEP, the Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers. I was here tonight talking about Hispanics. Hispanics are a little bit different than other people in terms of communication styles, in terms of culture. Hello, my name is Dr. Regina Pope Ford. I'm from the National Science Foundation with the Engineering and Education Centers Division and with the Broadly Participation in Engineering program. So I'm happy to see that the work is being done here. I'm happy that as NSF, uh, we've been able to fund uh, such a program, the Centers uh, for Equity and Engineering, to see how all that is going and is to see it actually in play and action. And I'm sure that it's going to be a great program as they go to their second year. Today we were on a panel about building a diverse workforce for the 21st century. One of the most amazing panels I sat on, first of all, it was highly diverse, but we talked about how to give advice, not just to students, but to faculty and also how we can link those two and give the student a better opportunity. And this is a great way to do this by providing this information at this conference. What I've been particularly impressed with while I've been here is the extent to which the various constituents that we really need to have at the table uh, to make a difference in equity and engineering have been here, their voices have been heard, they've been active participants in the conversation. Hello, my name is Faraon Torres Lassos. I work for Boeing. I'm an electrical magnetic effects engineer in the lightning effects team. My message to the people in the summit here is to find the message that resonates with you and become an advocate and an agent of positive change. I'm currently at the Equity and Engineering Summit representing DALEC. DALEC is extremely passionate about being able to provide opportunities for diverse students. We are looking forward. We just had a panel discussing of what engineering should look into for the workforce. Uh, equity and engineering is extremely important when we think about the need to diversify the engineering technology workforce. Um, women in particular are underrepresented in these professions and the more that we can do to make engineering and technology more welcoming to all, um, not just women, but um, those who are minoritized in these professions, uh, the better. This conference as a whole is really wonderful. It's, it's always great when you can bring in industry, professional organizations, and then the university. Combine those three elements into one conference is a huge benefit to the students uh, that are attending, and they're getting a lot of insightful information on how they can improve their uh, college career. Hi, I'm Jim Greer, and it's a great pleasure to be here at the Summit for Equity and Engineering. I'm here representing the Texas Society of Professional Engineers. We're a, uh, a, a professional organization that is really focused on promoting uh, professionalism and licensure. One of the things that I found interesting was the questions in regards to finding a mentor and ensuring that people understand that we also need to have a sponsor or an ally. Uh, these are the people that can help us grow ourselves, whether in college or further when we're in industry people that are gonna advocate for us and be there when we're not there. 